Four chefs are about to take on some wild games in the aisles of this market. Let's meet them. First up, Lisa Gaunt, chef de cuisine and devoted mother from Ashland, Massachusetts. Timothy Abel, a food truck owner and proud papa from Los Angeles, California. Lisa Stalvey, a caterer and author from Malibu, California. Finally, give it up for the firehouse chef all the way from Simi Valley, California, Mark Curry. Well, chefs, welcome. Very nice to have you. This is Triple G, Guy's Grocery Games, where we've got three intense culinary competitions filled with maybe just some unique twists and turns. All right, are you ready for the first challenge? Yeah. Let's get into it. Game one, chefs to your carts, please. And we're going. <sighs> Four, three, two, one, go! I'm making poached cod with garlic breadcrumbs. I also grab shrimp <laughs> to make pickled shrimp and green bean salad. I'm gonna do the carpaccio of New York steak. That way, all I have to do is thinly slice it, lay it out, it'll defrost, and we can serve it raw. There we go, we're into it. What do you got going here? Sweet potato fries. And you're gonna be making? Sweet potato puree. I like this. <laughs> I have dessert experience, I have savory experience, and I can work anybody under the table. The jambalaya dish. I was missing a fresh vegetable. Look it over, one item. So I was grateful I saw the asparagus. I know how to cook asparagus. I cook really wonderful food. I mean, I feel like I can beat these other chefs. I'm gonna put my art on that plate. I rub frozen garlic and basil cubes on them. They didn't have enough time to build a lot of potato-y roasted flavor, so I wanted to use toasted bread as a substitute for that. Two and a half minutes. The clock is clicking down, so I put the steak on top of the pastry shells. I'm thinking that maybe they're gonna soak up all the juice from the steak and get that demi-glaze on top. 50 seconds. I'm hoping that my breadcrumbs are gonna be done quick enough. I'm hoping that my puree is smooth and not too starchy. I have a lot of elements going on. They're running out of time. And I'm definitely at the end of the clock right now. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. Nice job, chefs. Captain, what do you got for us? I pan seared a porterhouse on top of a puff pastry with shrimp. On the side, you have a quinoa salad with peas. Lisa, what do you have for us? A poached cod with garlic breadcrumb, sweet potato puree, and a pickled shrimp and green bean salad. Chef Timothy. I wanted to do kind of a dish that felt like a high-end steakhouse. So we have a pan-roasted rack of lamb, pea mash, fried pearled onions, and a waffle crostini with garlic and basil. It's been a wild round. Lisa, bring the heat. I should say, Lisa, bring the health. Bring the health, yes. This is a shrimp jambalaya with edamame, okra, and corn, fresh asparagus. And then I made a cilantro ginger butter sauce to go with the shrimp. So the judges have decided the chef that will be checking out will be Lisa, thank you very much. Chefs, oh, oh, that was gnarly. But the next challenge is only gonna become that much more difficult. This is no carts allowed, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, go! They're off. I'm planning to make zucchini corn cakes and seared chicken strips with a yogurt olive oil dipping sauce. Fantastic. Giving kids something to dip is always exciting for them. I'm making yogurt turkey with a roasted vegetable salad. I wanted to use Greek yogurt because for a turkey salad, you can use it as a substitute for mayonnaise. It's also zero fat and really healthy for kids. All right. I don't have children, so in my head, I'm always cooking for firefighters. So I start making some fairly large meatballs, but they're actually smaller than the ones I make at the station. Big meatball. You gotta make a fireman size, right? Equal parts of sausage and turkey. And because turkey is so moist, you don't actually need a binder. So I'm saving the extra calories and the cholesterol by not having to put any type of eggs into that. I'm doing a zucchini corn cake with a mm. spiced yogurt dipping sauce and nice. uh, some seasoned chicken breast, which I'm not really sure what's happening with that yet. I'm shredding the zucchini. I crack some eggs in there as well. Little Monterey Jack cheese. And I start dolloping out little zucchini cakes. I dropped the cauliflower, but I prepped more vegetables and chopped almonds. So I'm moving on. 
Beautiful. With the Brussels sprouts, I peel them like you're taking leaves off of a cabbage, throw them in the deep fryer for just a few seconds, they're Brussels sprout chips. I make that for my daughter all the time. I've got all that beautiful mirepoix, carrots, celery, and two parts onion. It's soaking up some of the juices from the turkey, and I take the tomatoes and I add that to it, and I saute that all together. I'm gonna use an immersion blender, and I'm gonna bring that all together into a beautiful tomato sauce. Five, four, three, two, one, stop working. Close, close, close. What I made for the kiddos today is zucchini corn cakes and a little kicked up chicken with a Greek yogurt and olive oil dipping sauce because with my son, you can't ever go wrong with any chicken product. Now on to Chef Timothy. It's a roasted vegetable salad with a turkey salad served alongside the ragu of carrots and celery root. Well, I made some uh, turkey meatballs over a polenta. There's no butter in it, it's only with olive oil. There's mirepoix and tomatoes that are all ground up in the sauces. The one that we feel had the most creative and had the best taste will be Chef Lisa. Thank Very you. nice, two for two. Thank you. But it has simply come down to playing the game and unfortunately, as great as the food was, Chef Timothy, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Chef Lisa, Captain Mark. One of you will get a chance to bag up to 20,000 bucks. And we're going in three, two, one, go. And they're off. I'm planning on making a savory Indian inspired pie, a comfort food with a little bit of a twist. I've used processed pastry dough in a pinch. I'm taking a lot of risk with my flavors. I'm not taking a risk on my pie dough. I'm thinking shepherd's pie. This is a dish that's in my comfort zone, and it's a little secret on the fire department. We use canned roast beef uh, in a lot of dishes. Going into cooking, I'm panting hard, and I'm all jazzed. All right, so what do you got? I'm making a lamb savory pot pie with turnip carrot and uh, some grand masala. With the wine and the root vegetable, the flavor is developing. That is good. Have you worked with this product before? This is actually one of my dad's favorite products. Shepherd's Pie, for me, is really about using leftovers. So the canned meat is a substitute for using food that's already been cooked. Some of my earliest memories are going down to visit my dad at the fire station, and he would be cooking a beef stew that all the firefighters loved, and there was this big, giant can of canned meat. I think canned meat gets a bad rap because people don't know how to use it. Ooh, what do we got going here? It's prefabricated croissant dough. My mom used to make every hors d'oeuvre on the planet out of this stuff. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Up. Processed pastry dough. It's really versatile. A little crimp, a little fashion, and it tastes great. I'm gonna fry these, and then I'm just gonna lay them on top of the pot pie as kind of a crust effect. It dissolved, and it's gone. That's like a magic trick. I'm starting to panic. You can't have pie without crust. We are doing a deconstructed pot pie. 10 seconds, Captain. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. What do you have for us, Kevin? All right, well, this is a deconstructed uh, shepherd's pie. You've got some uh, roast beef and peas and carrots and all kinds of yummy stuff. And there's a little bechamel on there and then just a, a crumble of pie crust and some fried sage. What I prepared for you today is a Indian inspired uh, lamb pot pie uh, using ground lamb. And the sauce was made with garam masala and? Garam masala, red wine, and some demi-gloss. In game three, the savory pie, and this really comes down to taste. That the chef that will have the opportunity at the shopping spree going after $20,000. Be Captain Mark. In my hand is a list of 10 items. You're gonna have two minutes to find as many of these items as possible. Each item that you find and put in the basket, you're gonna get $2,000. Grab all 10 items. Before your time's up, you will win $20,000. You're gonna go in three, two, one, go! He's off. And he goes for ice cream right off the bat, nice. Bag of rice, 10,000 bucks. 
He knew where the garlic was. Had a garlic, $14,000. Come on down, come on down. Baby food, there you go. There's multiple brands of spices. I move over to the next one. Turmeric, they don't have it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Uh. Time expired, so I didn't get the turmeric. $16,000. I feel fantastic. This is all going to go to a great cause. It's Triple G, baby. That's the man.